Hello, my name is Emily Traster, and I am here today with Dan Dalton, one of the founding partners of Dalton and Tomich. Dan has helped a number of churches leave the United Methodist denomination and keep their property. How are you doing today, Dan? Doing great, Emily. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. So Dan, what like for local churches who have left the denomination after they completed disaffiliation? Every church is different, uh, but for the most part, I, I would say probably 95% of our churches, uh, it looks like growth. It looks like a new renewed spirit. It looks like uh, a healthy church. <clears throat> What's interesting in these Methodist denomination uh, cases, as opposed to anything that happened in the Presbyterian or Episcopal world, or for that matter, any other denomination we've helped with, with local churches, is that local churches grow. Um, there's a new renewed spirit within that church and excitement that occurs. So the people who come on the three big church days of the year, Mother's Day, Christmas Eve, and Easter, they start coming more frequently. Uh, those who might come every once in a while, they attend as well. Uh, you, you'll see more people from Methodist churches in your town or in your area where their churches are not even talking about this issue and, and they're upset with their pastor or they don't know what's going on you'll see them coming to your church as well. You'll see other people in the community that see what you're doing for your community and they'll want to attend and you'll, you're gonna see growth. Uh, we've seen churches that were at 20 or 30 when they were United Methodists. Uh, the week after disaffiliation, one went up to 200, another one up to 400. We had a church that was 1300 uh, that was before disaffiliation. A year later, one year later, they're at 6,000. Uh, we've seen other churches throughout the United States just grow and double in, in membership. We see more ministry happening in the local communities. We see more outreach than has ever occurred uh, by the local church as well. It is absolutely incredible to see this. Now, I can't promise you that's going to happen to your church and it's going to happen in every church, but I can tell you in the churches that we've helped out uh, in, in, probably in the last, well, since 2015, which is probably over 200 right now. I don't have an exact number, but I think it's over 200. All those churches, except maybe a handful, have grown uh, and they've grown dramatically. And there's a renewed spirit, new pastors in some places, other pa places pastors are renewed because they're not uh, weighted down by their denomination. And uh, it's just a wonderful thing to see. So you can see on the other side of dis disaffiliation, a strong, healthy church. As always, thank you for your insight, Dan. If your church is looking to leave the United Methodist denomination and you are interested in hiring Dan to help you through the process, please reach out to our office at 313-859-6000 or email us today. Thank you.